look at the chain rule. Everybody loves the chain rule. It's one of our favorite topics in calculus. Um, it doesn't cause anyone any problems ever. That's all sarcasm. Laced with it, right? So let's just say um, that we want to find f prime given that we have sine of 3x squared plus 5x minus 7 and all of that's raised to the 99th power. So if we wanted to do that, we'd do f prime. We'd start on the outermost piece, which would be the 99, something to the 99th power. So that'd be 99 times all that interior pieces. So this would be thinking of this as being the k. The sine would be the g function. And then the thing to the 99th power would be the h function. So we would just repeat all the inner pieces inside there, like that, and then raise this to the 98th power. Then we have to do the derivative of the next function in. So we had something to the 99th power, now we're doing sine of something, and the keep the same interior, so the derivative of the sine would be cosine of that original interior piece. And as happens with the chain rule, you frequently start to run out of space. So you might want to turn your paper sideways when you do these. So then we do the derivative of that inner piece, which in this case is going to be that polynomial. So that gives us 6x plus 5. And there is our derivative using the chain rule. Exciting stuff, isn't it? Um, more videos to come. Please reach out as you have questions. Hope you enjoyed.